Today, we're going to be adding in the Lux Bidet Neo 120. So, on the very back, behind there, on the bottom, is two nuts that hold in your toilet seat. So we're gonna remove those nuts, and this is what they look like. They're just on the back side holding the toilet seat in. Now, remove the seat. Okay, so now we've taken the seat off, and you can tell, um, depending on your model, there could be some clips in here, or they could still be in the toilet itself. What we have to do is we have to add these adapter pieces so that we can install our new bidet. And these pieces go in here like this. So the nice thing about this is that you can spin these around so no matter what kind of toilet you have, mo almost all of them you'll be able to fit on there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take these and we're going to attach them into here because of this, these need to go into the toilet and on these ones they're threaded. So we have to thread them on top of it, which I will show you. Okay. So we're going to take these out. And then you want to remember to flip it over and see, and then this can ride on here however it goes. So now we're going to want to tighten these down. Not too tight because you still need to maneuver them, maneuver them into place, into the correct place. Right. Get that down. Now you can see that they can still move around. So next thing you want to do is you want to take your day piece. And remember, it's got to be, if you're doing this inverted like me, you got to flip it over. So now we're going to flip it over. We're going to get those to line up. There's the first one. And the second one. Once you get them in there, then you can kind of get it fitted in in the correct orientation. And then tighten these nuts down. And that will basically kind of hold it. Um, they're, they're not going to be solid. Uh, you're dealing with thin plastic. So the next thing we want to do is we're going to flip it over and stick them through the hole. All right, just like that. This is where you're going to want to make sure that your seat is correct and your bidet is sitting right. And once you do, once you've got it to where you like it, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to add these nuts back into it. All right, now what I like to do is check your spacing again make sure everything's sitting where you want it and then slowly tighten them both up one side and then the other and go back and forth a little bit make sure you kind of wiggle it to make sure everything's seating right so then you want to get under there with your wrench and just tighten those up get it on there it's solid now now we're ready to do the piping okay so next is the water piping uh, the first thing you need to do is make sure you shut off your water. Um, unless you've gone through and installed a valve here, you probably don't have a valve. You'll probably have to shut off your, your trailer water. So what they do is they supply you with this T. Uh, it's a nice little T. It would be real great, except for this is for residential size toilets, piping, not for PEX. Uh, your PEX is half inch MIP, which is male iron pipe thread. Uh, and your residential is not, it is its own size. You'll need to shut off your water, and then we'll be attaching this hose that goes to the bidet and to your water system. So we have to get a way to add this in here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to cut this, and we're gonna put in a T, and then we're gonna run it over to a half inch MIP, and the other side will run back over to the toilet. So it's always best to have a little towel before you disconnect. I'm gonna have to just cut this piece out. Um, I'm gonna stay up it here as tall as I can, and then we'll remove this from this fitting to replace that onto a new piece of pipe. But we'll use this last bit here. We wanna make sure we have enough room for our fitting for our T. So we'll cut this as close to this as we possibly can. So now we'll add our T. The first thing I did is I went through and I test fitted everything. Make sure that everything's gonna be in the right spot, that there's no big problems. 
everything's gonna look good before before we start crimping anything because uh, taking off the crimps is is pretty hard all right so the first thing I'll do this new section that we're doing here and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crimp all of these all right now we've gone through and we've crimped all of our pieces together all right so we're gonna shove that in there and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook this one up and I'm gonna hook this one up Last thing we'll do is we'll crimp this bottom one on. Okay. And now check all your fittings before you turn on the water. All right, now we're gonna slowly turn on the water. Make sure we have no leaks. Looks like we might need to tighten this one just a little bit more. Everything's looking good. We come up and get a full of wire here on the back side of this. So that's all hooked up now. Now we can open up the, the lid now. We'll close that. These are nice. These are a little splash guard. Uh, so it makes it so that uh, they can do self cleaning because inside of here is your nozzle, right there. And so this is a nice little guard. When you use it, it will come down below that. We'll run the water through it. And so now, let's turn it to the cleaning nozzle. And this is how to do it so that you can test it without spraying yourself in the face. And that's all coming out good, just like that. So this was an install of the Lux Bidet Neo 120.